Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In today's video, we'll be showing you how you can install Ghost, which is a content management system. Um, it's kind of similar to like WordPress, where you can actually use it to kind of blog or kind of set up um, just things to like share your knowledge, sell items, do whatever you want. It's really up to you. It's it's more of whatever content you want to create, but it's more of a site, you know, um, that you can use. And there's a lot of good analytics on the back end um, to use it with. So if you're interested in playing around with it, um, they do have a few Docker versions and things like that to play around with. Um, so we'll show you how you can set one up, maybe create your first site and have some fun. So let's get started. All right, so first thing, we'll open up Terminal and we will log in to our server. Um, if this is just a blank server, nothing too fancy, um, it's running Oracle Linux 8, but you can pretty much probably do most of the steps in almost any Linux distribution because we are just using Docker. So the first thing that we'll do is install Docker. So we need to add the Docker repository here. Download docker.com, Linux, CentOS, and docker.ce.repo. And then we should be able to install Docker CE. Um, this will take a few seconds. So while that happens, what we'll do is go to our DNS repository um, and update our DNS for this. Um, this repository just essentially hosts um, the hosted file for the zone. Um, well, number one, okay and we'll deploy out any changes here to our DNS server and apply those changes. Um, if you're interested in that, uh, I do have a video and it's in my home lab series on how to do this. So feel free to check that out um, while I enter some information here. 74, and we will commit that. Add ghost. All right, so while that isn't going, we can actually go look at Ghost uh, Docker. So Ghost has a um, official Docker image here on a hub.docker.com. Eventually it will load. Eventually. <laughs> All right, um, we will enable Docker here and start Docker. All right, so we'll install Docker Compose here. Um, so we'll grab it from the GitHub repo, Docker Compose releases, download. Uh, we'll grab the 2.5.0 version, Compose Linux x86 64. We'll up it loads the local bin, Docker Compose. Grab that and we will chmod user local bin docker compose. We can check that the docker compose actually works by writing the command and version and we get the version. Um, so now I was gonna say this page should load now. Here we go. Um, and we can scroll down, see they have different tags um, in this case, but if you scroll down far enough, they will actually um, have a docker compose file and we will use this. Um, now this docker compose file is more of an example. Um, if you really want to run this in like a production stack, you probably want to consider a few other things um, in regards to this and not just this because um, this you essentially any changes that you make, it won't actually apply on the server because this container doesn't have like um, the data mounted back on the server. So none of this is persistent. Um, but if you're just using it for testing purposes, which is great, um, you can definitely do this. So we'll create a Docker Compose file and we'll paste what they had in here. Um, so nothing, nothing too fancy in here, um, but you definitely want to change a few things. So in this case, um, we will leave that here, um, but, uh, you want to change like the database connection password. That would be a good thing to change. Um, and then my SQL password, that's also good to change. Um, but in this case, I'll leave it just to show you that it still works regardless of what it is, but you should really change those. So what we can do is Docker compose up and detach. So we'll let that run while that pulls and downloads. Um, we'll log into our CA server, root at CA. Um, and create our certificate for this. So make directory, ghost, cd ghost, um, step ca ghost dot dragon 
dot oh uh, step ca certificate sorry ghost star dragon dot local ghost star dragon dot local dot cert and ghost dot dragon dot local dot key um, we'll get the provisioner key here in our vault warden and you gotta type it in right guys yeah, yeah there we go and type the right password in copy password paste it and we have generated our key so we can copy the keys over to our server go start dragon dot local and those are copied over so now we can actually exit this and close this session and we should now be able to make Etsy PKI engines private. We'll move our cert to Etsy PKI engines and then move our key to Etsy PKI engines private. Then we will install nginx. it is installed here and then we can edit the nginx configuration um, we'll go to the bottom of the file which you can do by hitting shift g if you're in vi or vim we are going to uncomment the ssl section here at the bottom and then we'll update a few values um, to make sure that it works essentially so we'll update the ssl certificate boop, boop, boop to be ghost.dragon.local. We'll update this to be ghost.dragon.local.key. But you gotta type it in right, you know? There we go. And then we'll update the location. So we want it to be localhost 8080, I believe. And we will save that. Um, the reason for 8080 is because it's running on the Docker container listening on 8080. Um, so we will restart Nginx here. Um, and I failed it. Um, give me one second. Journal CTL XE fetch restart. Um, oh, via Etsy nginx nginx.conf. I forgot the actual parameter proxy pass. <laughs> if, you, if you don't actually specify the argument, you're, it's not going to work. So we'll restart Nginx and we should be golden. So now we should go to a browser, type in HTTPS, ghost.dragon.local. We will get essentially our content management site. Um, but if you want to go to actual, the admin site settings, this is where you would go. You would um, type in slash ghost. It'll bring you to this. And then you can specify all your information for your admin user and then essentially create your site so you can you know write your first post you can make drafts you can view your site um, there's a dashboard for you know customizing your site and other things i am obviously not a ux a ui any any type designer so i am terrible at telling you what you should do with your site <laughs> but um oh I messed that up. So that, that actually redirects to localhost. Um, so what we actually need to fix in that is this should actually point to HTTPS um, ghost.dragon.local. Um, that's why that, that link didn't work. But um, you can still use it um, and fix it. So um, they also have a doc mode, so definitely use that. Um, but other than that, I mean, it is kind of now up to you on what you want to design with it. Um, it seemed pretty cool. I think I might actually end up using it, create, create my own site with it, um, to like relay some of my home lab content that I've created. Um, but we will see, gotta find some time and figure some stuff out. So, but if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.